So Renee has to tell us about how her husband, yay, they're having a baby. Her and her husband have her baby. But he wants her to be a stay-at-home mom and all traditional like. And they're going to have that baby soon. And he, he thinks that her last day at work is today. Uh-oh. But, uh, yeah, it's not. She uh-huh. didn't quit. So now she has to tell him the truth. What's up, Renee? <laughs> hey, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good uh, morning. Yeah, you basically got it. <laughs> um, my husband, he's just... He's just kind of super traditional. He's always been that way. He wanted me to, you know, be a stay-at-home mom. And um, it's not something really that I want for myself. Um, I guess it started before we were married. um, And he did tell me, like, he was vocal about it, that, you know, he wanted a a stay-at-home wife, you know, raising the kids. And that's because his mom was a working mom. And I guess their house was, like, pretty chaotic and messy and... He thought, like, his friends, you know, who had moms that stayed home, and he thought that their houses were better and cleaner and just more orderly. So, you know, like, when we're dating, I kind of thought I could just put that conversation off. I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I like, that that sounds like fine. Like, I was in a job I didn't like, and, you know, it. I was like, oh, it sounds good to stay home, you know? Like, yeah, that'll be fine. And then we got married, and I'm in a job that I love. And it has like real promotion and moving upward and like, you know, it's, it's like a career. And so I kind of convinced him at the time that like, oh, you know, it's good for me to work. Like we can save a lot of money, you know, it's going to like help us in the long run. And so for a while he was like, fine, you know, Mm -hmm. you can like, that's all good. And well, like you guys said, like we found out we're expecting (laughs) our first Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. We're very excited. Um, But this conversation has come up again, and he wants me to quit. And I'm still happy working, but he thinks that I have already given my two weeks notice that today is my last day, and come Monday, I'm going to be home, like, preparing the nest. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And I have not given my two weeks notice um where where did he get the impression that you did did you tell him that or did he assume that (laughs) i just didn't correct him when Uh, he said it um because i i guess i just thought like i would figure something out and here i am and i not figured it out yet okay I kind of love that, though. Like, that's one of my favorite things. My husband says something, and I don't correct him. And then a few days later, he's like, you said you were going to blow. And I'm like, I never said Technically, that. Technically, I didn't say that. You did. <laughs> <laughs> so I get it. Um, so what are your, like, family values? Like, you say he's very traditional. You know, of course, he had a working mom, so he grew up. Grass is always greener. All of my friends got moms that stay at home, and they got better snacks and cleaner houses and all of that. Um, it was probably just that their mom was cleaning his friend's rooms for them. And he was like, Oh, I got to clean my own room. Blech. So what are your like family values? Do did you have a working mom or a stay at home mom? How do you feel about it? I mean, my mom kind of, she had like part-time work. So like she did go work and then, you know, she would be home part of the time. So I kind of had like that split of both worlds, Okay, but you know, I am in a job that I really love and I don't want to just be like, okay, now I'm totally giving up on my dreams and aspirations just because, you know, we're having a baby. I do want to be there for my baby, but, you know, I'm going to get maternity leave. And Mm -hmm. so I kind of feel like we can figure it out more when when that happens, you know, because I feel like there's going to be so many unexpected things. Like, how on earth can I really plan for everything? I don't know. When, I just know I need to tell him something. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you and your husband typically don't see eye to eye on something, is he usually an understanding guy? He can be. <laughs> I mean, he, you know, he can be kind of like stuck in his ways. But if we can just talk it out enough, then, he, you know, he can be open to the idea. Like when, you know, after we got married and he's like, all right, you know, you're going to quit. And I was like, no, like, here's what's going on. And here's what my job is and here is what's important to me. And then he was like, okay, you know, so I'm hoping I can kind of steer the ship towards my direction, mm-hmm. but I don't know. It's, just, I, it's a conversation that keeps coming up. I think there's ways that you can, like for me, I would, um, I would want to put everything on paper. I would want to get all of the technical out and my brain would be going so into finances. So that's what I would focus on. So maybe you should go ahead and make your baby registry with all of like the top tier 
high price items that you want. And then you need to take both of you guys' salaries and combine them and show like the increase in your bills are going to be crazy after you have a baby. They take a lot of baths and that's a lot of water, you know? So like your bills are going to uh, double um, your food, it, like grocery bills, everything. So you need to take both of y'all's finances and be like, it would be crazy for me to go unemployed after a pandemic when you never know if your job's going to just like go toe up. It's good to have two salaries within the household have it for a growing child. You don't want us to struggle, do you? And I'm not saying like his salary is so low you guys would struggle, but I'm just like, I feel like you wouldn't be able to look at that number and that large amount and the fact that your job makes you so happy. I, I don't want you to, a lot of people go through postpartum depression and like to have a job on the outside of that is to have like some purpose and it and it helps a little bit. And I'm not saying anything about stay at home moms. It is hard for both. But I think there is a way you can convince your husband of this, but I feel like it's going to take some math. Yeah, and, and times change and people evolve. So it's not as if you technically lied to him all this time. You know, you're just in a different place now than you were then. You see things a little differently. There's nothing wrong with that. I do think you should just sit down and just talk to him and just be straight up with him. I feel like if Bert were here, his strat he would tell you the strategy to tell him something really bad, right? Yes. So then this, he'd be like, hey, I cheated on you. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But here's what's really going on. I'm keeping my job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love my job too much. That's it. But I love you and I never cheated on you. Yeah, like start with something bad. Actually, don't do that. Um, maybe. I think he'll understand yeah. that. I think he'll understand the finances and the importance of like a nice, you know, home with two working parents is just as good as, you know, what he, I guess, envied as a child. Yeah, I think. Can I just bring you guys to talk to him? Because you said oh. it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, it's it's yeah. the weekend, so um, no. You busy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like, we'll send you this audio, and and maybe like the interns type it out, and we could just yeah, draw have a, text a script. Please. Yeah, we'll have a script for it you. Was worth it. it was worth a try. <laughs> Sorry, <Shoot> girlfriend. <laughs> But thank you so much, Renee, and good luck. And uh, make sure you you. touch base with us. Let us know over the weekend what happens, and we'll talk to you on Monday, okay? Thank you. Will do. Thanks for the advice. Thank you. Anytime. You got this. And congrats. Thank you. The Bird Show.